Get you some of that! Woo! Holy smokes! What's going on guys, Chad Pipkins here and it is getting cold out and winter months approaching means we gotta change our style of fishing. Um, if you know anything about me, I do like to crank a little bit. You've seen me catch a few big ones on the Domeki DC 300 over at Lake Fork and also some big smallmouth. The key oh thing to God. keep in mind is cadence and speed. Yeah. And uh, typically when we're fishing, you know, we summertime months, you know, chasing those big smallmouth and, and fish out of ledges and timber and clean spots, it's all about that speed. And for me, I'm winding that thing as quick as I can to get the bait down there. And then it's a lot of erratic stop and go. You need to do something to trigger those fish to strike. So I'm, I'm trying to get that bait down to the bottom as quick as possible. And then I'm trying to run that bait by the fish as quick as I can. That's what triggered those big fish and biting that may otherwise not want to bite. Now in the winter, the deal is fish get a little lethargic. They're kind of like us. At home, we sit around a lot in the winter. You know, sit, about, sit on the couch watching TV. That's kind of what the fish do in the winter. They're, they're sitting and, and they're not really chasing as much. That being said, there's still windows, you know, when they are feeding and there's still ways to get them to bite. So in the winter, you definitely want to slow down that retreat. You can still get the bait to the bottom, but you're not trying to burn it by the fish because again, they're not going to chase. So for me, the big thing to think about in winter is, is some of those targets. You know, in the summer, you're burning your bait by those targets. In the winter, you maybe you may have to make, you know, six, seven, eight casts to the same target. If there's a stump, that's in the right place, a channel swing, maybe you've got to hit that stump, you know, five or six times or at a different angle. And again, once you get the bait down to your target, then you, you really want to slow down that retreat. It's, you still are going to get fish to bite, you know, maybe popping the rod tip or a stop and go, but the key is slowing down because those fish just swim a lot slower in the winter. Um, another thing to keep in mind when you're, when you're cranking is, for me, I'm always using the same reel speed. Everybody's a little different on this, but I'm a big believer in I can always slow down my reel retrieve, but I can't speed it up if I, if I don't have enough gear ratio. If I'm using a you know five to two or a six to one, and that fish, you get a hook of big fish and they start to run, you can't control the fish like I feel you need to. So for me, I'm either running a seven three or an eight to one. That way I have the ability to slow down my retrieve, and yet I can still, you know, if I need to reel up slack when the big one eats it and runs to get him away from something, I'm able to do that. So again, a couple quick things to keep in mind to help you crank him in the winter. you got to slow down. You're going to want to hit those targets multiple times. They still may be in some similar places, but they just relate to stuff different. Like that structure, maybe it's a single stump, maybe it's a little brush pile. You want to target those key spots and hit them multiple times. And uh, just be a little patient. They don't want to eat. You gotta make them eat.